Today I'm going to show you what could be Brisbane's best tapas restaurant. Now I'm not sure if it's the best tapas in Brisbane, but I can tell you it is some damned good food prepared by really, really good chefs. I can't actually take you there because I'm actually in isolation at the moment. I got COVID. Yeah, I basically just had a runny nose. Nothing more than that, but I do have to isolate for seven days. This is day four, so I can't get out to make a video, but thankfully I actually helped some students make a short documentary on the chef from Moda restaurant. And uh, so I can show you that little documentary um, and you'll get a good feel for what the food in this restaurant and, and the restaurant itself is all about. So the chef Javier uh, worked in some pretty high level restaurants internationally, but he decided to you know, step away from the high class restaurant scene and open a, a family tapas restaurant, which um, the food, it's good. It's good, trust me. I've tried it a couple of times, highly recommend it. Full disclosure, all cinematography is mine, but I was not involved in the coloring process. I have tweaked the colors in this version to match my original vision when filming. Aquí es un family business. Entonces, a mí lo que me gusta es que la gente se siente como en casa. Relajados, contentos. Yo creo que lo más importante es la dedicación y comprometerse en lo que estás haciendo. Es amar lo que haces. En esta vida, lo más importante es la familia. My name is Javier Codina, and I'm originally from Barcelona in Spain. I've been cooking for almost 35 years now, and out of these 35 years, the last 22, I've been cooking here in Queensland, in Brisbane. I work in different countries during my career. I started my apprenticeship in uh, Cambrils, which is a coastal town near Barcelona. That's when I met my lovely wife, Sylvia during the Olympics back in 1992. After that, I worked in the UK, in France, the US, and finally I landed here in Queensland 22 years ago. I'm the type of person that I have a big heart, and to me, it's the ultimate goal, personal goal to make people happy. So using the best local ingredients that I can source at the markets, uh, combined with uh, my innovative techniques, I think I can achieve that on a daily basis. We play a big role being a chef. My reputation is on the line and every time I put a meal on the pass, we're only as good as the last meal that we prepare. So the pressure is always there and the expectations are always very high. Cooking is evolution. You have to evolve and you need to adapt yourself if you want to be still uh, the talk of the town and create interested dishes. Playing like a really strong like uh, sun-dried tomato aioli mm. to go mm. with it. For instance, with pork belly and cucumber. And... In 2005 was the beginning of the, my career success here in Queensland. I was awarded with the best restaurant in Queensland and the finalist for Australia. I was recognized by the Restaurant Catering Association for three years in a row. The way I feel when I won the awards is that I, I try to keep myself always grounded. When you're on the top of your game, more than ever, you need to be concentrated and you need to be really focused in delivering every single day. Good morning, Chef Javier. No. No. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm making bread today. If you order the same quantity, yeah. the way it's, it's done, uh, we're going to blot our salad on the bottom. Yeah, make sure we have enough cheese. Yeah. You need five minutes to check it. Five minutes? Okay. Right, go check. Oh. The rest of the kitchen is running very smooth today. Uh, we got the salads. Our head chef Josh is uh, taking care of the vegetables, the roasted capsicums from Vandenberg and the yellow capsicums as well from Vandenberg. When you're young, we are really obsessed in, in cooking. So 
We don't mind spending long days, long hours, weekends, days off. Your physical abilities are 100%. You're, you're young, you're strong. As your career progresses, as you start achieving goals, and as your body starts suffering the consequences of all these years of working really hard, your priorities, they change. They have to change because you can't carry on working the same hours or working under the same stress. You think that you have a good business, you're making money, you're successful, and all of a sudden something, something is not right. And then you come to terms that, you know, perhaps it's time to, to move from that same goal. That's why to have a good partner and ha have that stability at home is so important. And my customers, they know that I'm a very family-oriented person because when I go home, I find my oasis of uh, happiness and calm. That's what really fulfills me as a person, as a dad, as a husband. If I can transmit that passion and that love that I get from, you know, my family, customers, they, they can taste that, they can see that, they can see that happiness, you know, in, in my eyes when they come and, and they enjoy what, what we prepare for them. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Yes, Chef or yes, Dad? <sighs> yes, Dad. One of the things for me that it's very important is to, to get my family involved. For you guys to come to the restaurant with mom, that was to me the highlight of, of my day. Sí, muy bien. Yes. Kevin Cocinas. Es de mamá. Oh. Gracias a mamá. Mom's recipes. Learning from my own experiences, whether they're good or bad, it's always an outcome. And then teach something to, to the younger generation, teach something to my, my young kids. I feel lucky to be alive, I feel lucky to have a restaurant, very lucky to have a beautiful family. And what else can I ask? It's not about money anymore, it's about having that stability, synergy amongst the people that I live my life with. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up to, uh, yeah, just uh, let those students know that they did a good job with the film because I think they did. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more kind of documentary style videos about things in and around Brisbane um, because that's a, a direction I've been considering lately and uh, it would be something I would enjoy doing as well. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see more of or what you'd like to see instead. And I will see you in the next video. Maybe check this one out.